The number one rapper out of New Jersey. Yeah. We got uh, Mr. I don't ride niggas waves, niggas ride my wave. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. We got Exit 9 in the building. Yeah, we the got King stand F. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King F in the building. What's good? So, uh, Forever Loyal, Promises Forever Cap. Yeah. Fast Life, Play for Keeps. Yeah, absolutely. So, so how many how many of y'all is in the, in the group? I'm saying, it's, it's a lot of us, man. I don't know. It's like, <laughs> you got me. You got Gaddafi, Fast Life, Gaddafi, Fediano, LH. You got a lot. A lot it's well, a lot of us. Rap? Yeah, that, nah, that's what I'm saying. Some of us rap. You got like, we got a few rappers, but then we got the whole entourage of niggas that don't. You feel me? That don't don't rap. They just like, they just like gang. You feel me? Like they just fast, the bros. Fast. Like, <coughs> it's more so, like a, it's more like a family oriented thing. Nah, see, you were saying that all of y'all like grew up since y'all was little type shit. Yeah, all of us grew up together. We all from the same hood. We all grew up together. But it, but even though it's, it's even deeper than that because you got like family members like Gaddafi might have a cousin and he might just started hanging with us or he might be young and he right, you, right, you know right. he a part of the family so right, we all right. connected like you know what I'm saying. So let, let's start from the beginning. So where you from? Where you was born? I'm from New Brunswick, New Brunswick, New Jersey. Sure, all your, your whole life? Yeah, uptown, yeah, right, right. uptown, New Brunswick, New Jersey, Remsen Avenue, Trooper Avenue, you know that area like. Right. So what? Slums. What was your childhood like? My child was, it was all right. Like, we, you know, we was running the streets. First, we started off riding bikes and all that shit. You know, riding bikes, stealing bikes. But then, as you get older, you get into more things, you know, you start. Yeah, facts. Now, I remember, because, like, I got I got family members from out there. And I remember, like, going out there. And I was like, oh, shit, like, this shit, like, kind of like Nork and shit. Like, yeah. it ain't. It it's ain't... small at all. So, facts, if yeah. people don't know about it, they'll think, they wouldn't think that. But Fuck. if you come out there and you see what goes on, you be like, oh, nah, this shit yeah, live. They, they like, got the areas I where... bring people from other places out there. They be like, oh, nah, this shit live. They oh, go down, yeah. like, and it be lit. Like, you know, everybody, like, outside. And it's not just, it's black people, it's Dominicans, it's Mexican. We all be together. Honduran, Nicaragua, everybody just be together. You feel me? It ain't no separation out there. It's just... Yeah, nah, I know, I know yeah. this. So, uh, I know, uh, you, ha- you have both your parents in your life? Nah, I'm saying my dad, he in prison. My dad been in prison since I was like, <coughs> since I was a kid, but I still talk to him like every day. You know, he got a lot of time, but I'm, I'm trying to bring him home now. That's like my main goal. How, how old was you to, when he got like that? Probably was like three years old, four years old. Like, so. How old are you right now? Like 28. Or, or, so or, or, that should have been like damn near my whole life. Facts. You feel me? But that that's, you know, we're going we gonna to get him out. He in the feds right now. My brother locked up, my, my dad in the feds. We trying to get him out. But my mom raised me. My mother, my grandmother, they took care of me. You got a lot of family and shit? Yeah, I got a lot of family. Lot in of Brunswick, I'm saying? Everywhere, but yeah. Oh, right, right, in right. Brunswick, yeah, I got a lot of family. I got I got a lot of cousins. You know, my, my grandmother, yes. on one side, had six kids. My other grandmother had eight kids. So I just mad aunts and uncles, mad cousins. Like, right. Right. One of my grandmothers had 21. Oh, no, nah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. 21 kids, that's crazy. Right. Nah, so what, what what was your school life like? Like, what, what type school of student was you? You asked Gaddafi. Me and him, we used to get suspended all the time. We, just, <laughs> we was wilding, like, you know what I'm saying? Once we went to, we was wilding, even in, like, fourth, fifth grade, we was wilding. But when we got to middle school, it was just too lit. Like, it was just, it was just, when we went to middle school, they put everybody from all the different hoods in one school oh, together. facts, the high school, facts, facts Yeah, facts, facts. But, but even before high school, the middle school, no, they yeah, had everybody yeah, right, together. Right, right. So, it was just crazy. We was doing, we was having brawls and fight outs. I mean, brawls, fights, like, it was wild. I got kicked out, went to another school, got kicked out that school. It That's was crazy. just like, it was lit. <laughs> but I, I, I got out of that, I went to high school, I graduated high school, all that, so. Nah, but I can say that. I feel like the good thing about you staying in your town and shit is like your name always been, <clears throat> you feel me? Yeah. If y'all, I mean, not like that, but if you was crazy in school, so it's like your name always been ringing in that oh, town yeah, type yeah. shit. My, like, my city, we the ones. Like, I, like word, word. I got a lot of respect in the city because I've been out there for so long and I've been putting it in for the city, putting on for the city, going to different places, putting on for the city. So like, Facts. I got pull out there, like, you know what I'm saying? I could, I could, I could stop things from happening, you know what I'm saying? So I try to, Keep everything cool. Keep it copacetic. So it's, facts, it's comfortable facts. for everybody. It's comfortable for everybody else. And it's comfortable for me. Facts. Because I don't want no problems. I don't want to have to <laughs> do nah, nothing facts. to nobody. <laughs> I don't want nobody to do nothing to me. Yeah. But ain't nobody going to do nothing to me. Because I'm F. I'm King F. Like, 
<laughs> so uh, I, I know you say your, your dad would been locked up since like 96. Yeah, yeah, like 97, 96, 90, something like that, yeah. So you feel like like your life was designed to live the life that you live now, like based on your surroundings and your the circumstances of your life and like how you came up? What you mean? Like design, what you mean? Like as far as like since your dad was locked up, so you felt like you had to be in the streets and doing like what no, you had to do type nah, shit? No, I just chose to be in the streets. Like, word, word. I mean... Like, my sister grew up in the same house as me. She ain't in the streets. You feel me? Right. I just chose that path. Like, I chose that path. It's, but that's what I mean. I had so a good, it was your surroundings. Yeah. I had, like, my like, mother raised me good. My right, mother right, raised right. me good. It's just, like, my mom, she had three kids, so she would be at work. And right, we would right. just go outside. Nah, yeah, it was we didn't like, want to be yeah. in the house. We'd be outside. So then that's, you know. Facts. So it wasn't like I was raised bad. I mean, my, if my father was there, it probably would have been different. My mom probably wouldn't have had to work as hard. No, that's what so I mean. She like, probably so could have been like, home. I probably would have right, been in the right. house, you know what I'm saying, or with her. Yeah, but yeah. that's just how it goes. That's just life. So when 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 did you discover that, that you had, like, a talent in rapping? That's a good question. I mean, when I was a kid, I used to listen to music. Like, my mother used to play Biggie. Um, my mom used to play, like... Everything. Nas, my mother loved Nas. Word. Me and my mom went to the Nas concert recently at um at the garden. Word. Me That's right. My mom loved Nas, but I was listening to that when I was a kid, like five years old, six years old. So like It's always been around. Yeah, I always yeah. listen I always knew music. She let me listen to that. Some people don't let their kids listen to that type of facts, music when they're kids, but that's what I was listening to, you know. So the music just been in me since. So when when you started like like rapping, rapping rap, like not rapping rap, because I'm I'm sure like it was on some block shit, like yo, yeah, just everybody freestyling. Yeah, and... we used to be like in the crib recording over the computer, like me, Gaddafi, <laughs> right. my little brother, my cousin Whoop. Like we used to be in the crib recording over the computer, but we ain't really put it out there. But then, like, I always was rapping like middle school and high school. Like everybody know me, like he'd be rapping. Like I'd be in the hallways just rapping right, all right, the time. Right. That's just so forever. I've been doing it forever. So AK was your first song? My AK. That was like, yeah, that was a minute ago. <laughs> that was like... 2014. Yeah, that was like a minute ago. And that that shit was, got 5K. Yeah, that's like when Word. I really started like taking it like... That shit I wasn't got 5K really when you dropped it? Taking it serious, yeah. Like I wasn't really taking it serious back then. But I was just like, we rapping, we in the hood, like, let's just rap, let's shoot you videos. You feel like, like... I, I, that's when I started shooting videos, like, I was Like, you young. had the juice in the hood type shit, so you was like, fuck it, I'm gonna drop music? It's not just that, like, we, cause... Cause how you got 5K on your first song, that's what I mean, you <laughs> feel me, like... Nah, it's just, the hood fuck with me, like... Nah, like, that's what everybody I mean, so it's like, like, your name, like, Fuck was, with me, yeah, like, everybody like, fuck with us, like, not just me, just me and my guys, we all, like, certified, we stamped out there, so... It's like, yeah, nigga, you, you, we already fuck with you doing music. Right. We gonna, we gonna back it. Like, if you real and 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 you in your hood and you stand up, your hood gonna fuck with you. Like, facts, facts. That's just how it go. So I see the the song you did with Ross Balboa. Ross Balboa, Money Is the Game. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was like so that, before I got locked up. That shit got twenty k. Yeah, yeah. Ross, that that was like natural. Shout out to like, Ross. Yeah, yeah. That was a we. I ain't gonna lie. Back, that's when I first. That's when I could say I started taking it serious. I think that was like 15, 2015. That's when I started taking it serious. I was really putting a lot of money. Like, that video cost me some a lot of bread. And then we was doing mad shows with that song. Like, a lot of people was rocking with that song, like, at that time. That was, yeah, I forgot about that song. That's crazy. Word. I really invested a lot of money back then. Like, I mean, I still do, but... No, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It we was, was different. really putting in the groundwork. Facts. Like we was really that's when I really noticed like is this rap game expensive? Like you gotta invest in yourself. You invest in yourself, it'll come back. But Facts. you know, it's gonna be times where you just like, damn, like I've been doing this shit, I'm putting so much money into this shit, I'm just trying to see a return. You know? But Facts. that's just how it goes. Man, I believe in investing in yourself, like putting that bread up for yourself. In anything. Yeah, in you anything. Gotta invest, yeah, if you go to the gym, that's investing in yeah, yourself. Like that's true. anything. Like, that's true. Facts. So I know in, in your song Certified, you said you did four years in the can. Yeah. You treated it like college. Yeah, I said four years in that can. I treated it like college. I've yeah, been nah. at the bank, withdrawing deposits, running to these racks, fast like I'm Sonic. Yeah. Or. Right. Now, yeah. so my, my question was, is treated it a word? 
<laughs> nah, I treat it. Nah, I know. Like, fuck with yeah, you. like you treat Bro, it. Bro, I listened like, to that the beginning like three times. I was like, hold up. <laughs> nah, that's two. That's two yeah, different know, words. Treated it. Like, nah, nah, for real. But I saw, I saw in one, in one of your your live performances. Yeah. Like you opened up to your fans and you told them that that you got locked up for a shooting that happened at one of your shows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And your mom got locked up for it. Yeah, my mom got locked up too. So you want to like give a little background for your fans and shit. Yeah, I'm saying I got locked. It was like a performance. I had a performance, and I ain't performed. Some shit happened at the show, and then you know, one thing led to another. Whoa, Somebody whoa. got shot, and then I got arrested for it. And then they arrested my mom for it. But she why was, they lock? Yeah, that, that's why I was like, why they lock your moms up though? That's basically, crazy. they try to make it seem like and my mother like it was like. Accessory, like she knew about, like she's like conspiracy. Oh, I feel like, you. I feel like what she I did. Ain't come to, I feel you. Yeah, they she was to, there. You know. Oh, you mean? ain't tell her, so yeah. I she, feel you. I feel yeah, you. Yeah, but she held it down. You know, she kept it on hundred. Like you know, what I'm saying she. Ain't, she did time too. Yeah, she was. She not like she ain't do time. Yet, she did right. time. She did months in the county. Or, or. But she held it up. Like you feel me? And they was trying to give me ten. They was trying to give me fifteen years. But my mom told me don't take it. Like she was like, yeah, don't I heard take you it. say that in one of your songs. Yeah, too. Right, right. she told me don't take it. So I just waited it out for a few months, and she. Was, you took it a trial type shit. No, nah, I was going to take it to trial, but when I was going to take it to trial, they lowered it to five years. Oh, where, well, they lowered it to six years, and then once where, I went to six, COVID? they gave me five years, and in five years, they um I got out. I, I had five years, then I got out early because of COVID. COVID. Yeah, yeah five, five, so. Five. So yeah. I saw uh, your, yeah. your first song, like, First Day Out. Yeah. 27K. Yeah, yeah, that's when I first came. That, that, that went crazy. crazy. That went crazy. When I first came home, like, my first day. Bro, you look completely different. Nah, I was mad skinny when I first yeah. came home. I wasn't, <laughs> because, like, I was on some boozy shit, Joe. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, bro, I'm not eating that shit, bro. Oh, <laughs> like, word, word. And then I'm you. like, bro, I got to come home slim so I can fit in that design and shit. Like, <laughs> I was trying to fit in that design, and you feel me? I've always been big, like, my whole life, like. So I'm like, I got to come home slim. Like, at first, I wasn't working out, though. At first, I'm like, no, nah, I'm not working out, bro. But as I start feeling like oh, I'm about to come home, I'm like, nah, I got to work <laughs> out. Because I've never been like a heavy worker. Like, my boy Gaddafi, <coughs> he be in that gym heavy. Work. I've never been a nigga that work out like that. Like, yeah, I just yeah. don't do it. So I used to just play basketball all day. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, bro, I know I'm going to lose weight like this. <laughs> I didn't eat a lot. And then towards the end, I started working out. Like, I started doing pull-ups push-ups, everything. They didn't have weights in the halfway house, so I just used to do like pull-ups, dips, squats, lunges. I was doing everything, like full body workouts, like at least like th four times a week. You feel me? Right. Now I'm about to get back on my working out. Working out <laughs> shit, bro. Nah, I like definitely look, yeah. you, you, you got, you picked up some weight since nah, that. Yeah, yeah, right, hell right. yeah. Nah, it's good though, you feel me? Yeah. Nah, but uh, how, how did it make you feel like after doing four years and then you came home and like, I want, like, that's basically going viral, you could say. Yeah, like. yeah. I mean, when I came home the first day, like, as soon as I got out, yeah, I got four, out November 4th, four, four, yeah, 2020, and, like, I couldn't, like, the love was different, bro, like, but yeah. I knew, I ain't gonna lie, I don't want to be Eric, but I knew it was gonna be like that, like, the day, from the day I got locked up, <laughs> I know, like, if I could make it out soon enough, it's gonna be up, it's gonna be lit. You, you, you know have music, saying? like, in the stash? What, like when I was locked up? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, I had it. Those, I didn't really videos? drop, but I didn't really drop my music when I was in there because yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, I wasn't really, it wasn't really how I wanted it to be. Facts, facts. You know, but when I was in there, I just knew, like, all right, if I could get out, like, I know they was trying to give me 10 years, 15 years, 22 years, different shit. I'm like, yo, if I could get out within, like, five years, it's up. Word. Now, if I got to do, like, 10 years, it might be quiet. <laughs> like, people are going to forget about facts, me, facts, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But I'm like, if I could get out in this window... I know when I come home, it's going to be up. And thanks to thanks to God, you feel me? I came home and it's lit now. Smart. It's lit. But being in prison, you just got to, like, stay away from certain things. Like, I was in there, but it taught me how to move. It taught me how to how to deal with people. Like, before yeah, I you just... you said that shit was college for you. Yeah, like, before so... I just... Look, look, I just, like, avoid people. Like, if I ain't fuck with somebody, if I ain't fuck with somebody, I'll just... Avoid them, but now it's like being in prison. That should taught me how to, like, I I know this person. We we living in the same room. Like you, you they put you in a room with a random person that you never met, and you the room mad small. So it's like y'all got to share the same toilet. When he taking a shit, 
<laughs> you know, like, you got to smell his shit every day. Like, it's, it be shit like that. Like, shit you're not used to. When he clipping his fingernails, you got to see the shit flying. Like, Fuck. it be just little shit that it's like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no toilet ain't no toilet cover. So when he taking the shit, it's just, yeah, there's no bathroom. The, the bathroom in your room. So it's like, you got to learn how to deal with people. You know what I'm Fuck. saying? He might, be, he might be messy or he might not. He might leave a sneakers in a certain place where you don't want them in there. So you got to learn, like, yo, bro, look, I need you. You, you learn how a person was living outside. Exactly. And you got to learn how to deal with that because... Facts. It, it, a lot it, of fights. It, 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 raised, <laughs> it, it made me a better person, though, to be word, honest. Word. Like, going to prison, I feel like, it's sad to say, but I feel like I had to go through that to elevate my mind and to know how to, like, conflict resolution. Like, all right, how the fuck am I going to deal with this problem? Because before, yeah. I just, like... Bro, nigga, nigga, like I'll really do something to you. Like now, I'm trying to figure out how I can avoid doing something to you. Because if, if I do something to you, that's gonna hurt me. That's gonna put me in a bad position. I got too many people counting on me to to crash out like that. You know. So when when you came home, like that, that's when the the fast life like started taking off type shit. Yeah, I'm, we already it. had it. We already had fast. Nah, life. yeah, yeah, like, I figured. We've I figured, been but... doing it. We we had the hoodies. Since like oh, 2014, right, right, right. we was that's when we started going crazy. 2014, and then when I was locked up, my brother Molly, he locked up right now, but my brother Molly was holding it up. Like that's like right, right. my brother Molly official. That's bro, like him. Um, he, he was holding it up out here while I was going. Him and Gaddafi was holding it up. While me, me and Fediano was was in there, it was locked up. We was actually locked up together. My bro Fediano, we was in the same room together in the county. Or, that shit was crazy. Like we was just on the streets together, and then we in the county together, and then we was in prison together, and then we came home the same day. So damn, it's crazy. crazy. Fediano, that's my bro. Like, that's my heart right there. Yeah, because yeah. I, I saw you did like a song with Fast Life, LH. Yeah, LH. That's my that's my bro. Shout out to LH, man. I was just with him like two days ago. Yeah, and I saw you that's did another guy. song with uh, Gaddafi. Yeah, yeah, Gaddafi. Shout out Gaddafi. They um they all got their own solo shit going on because it's like. We all like one one label. It's not even like we're a group. No, right, right. But got we, we got a tape out called Apply Pressure with all of us on it. Right. It's hard, but we're not even really like a group. It's just like a collaborative thing. We all get together and put music out. LH, he got different shit. He do shit for the girls. Then he could get back on some street shit. Fediano, he be talking that talk. Gaddafi, he got that trap talk, and you know Bro, that's Gaddafi what he do. Gaddafi sound like little Bibby sometimes. <laughs> I swear to God, like Bibby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never heard that, but yeah, he do. He got that voice. You get what I'm saying? Everybody be doing their own thing, man. Like, I saw so around around that time. That's that's when you like you got a feature with Don Q. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Don Q. That's my guy. But you I, dropped you dropped a couple like like you dropped a good like nine videos, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. And I then you did the the is. feature. Yeah, Don. That's my god, or like. I, I fuck with him heavy because he came through to my hood. We had the Yeah, Lambo. I was going to ask you. You did the video in New Brunswick? Yeah, we did it in New Brunswick right in my hood. That's fire. On Rimson Avenue and right on Seaman and Rimson. That shit was, shit was crazy. It was some crazy shit just happened a few days before that, and then we brought him right there. Word. That shit was crazy. Shout out to him. He showed mm -hmm. mad love. Doing um, legendary shit. Yeah, yeah. We had the Lambo truck out there. Yeah, I saw that I shit. I had like, probably like 50 racks on me, 40, 50 racks on me in the hood. Like... <laughs> you know, regular hood shit. Yeah. So you ain't gotta answer this question. All right. But uh in in the beginning of Don Q verse, he said that he got paid in pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Don, man. That's my guy, man. You know. Fucks. That's my boy. So I see I saw that you, you was like in the studio and you did a song with Shotgun Shug too. Like yeah, Shotgun that Shug, that's my man. We got like, a how you talk to him? Um we got the same like manager, my boy B Ten. Oh. D10, word, word. We, we got the same manager, but sure, that's like my brother. Like, I fuck with him heavy. Like, that's yeah, my I saw, guy. I saw Icewear Visa was there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Icewear, I met him through Shug. I met him through Shug. He had a show out here in Jersey. And um, I, he came to the studio with me. We cooked up a record. I ain't even dropped that yet. I'm going to drop it soon. I don't know when I'm going to drop it. We he got the video. Nah, he signed with QC. He so signed with Lil Baby like... and, um, and all that. Yeah, yeah. But, Shit. But um, shout out to Icewear from Detroit. He hard, too. Facts. Icewear hard. He showed mad love when he came to the studio. Him and his guys from the D. They showed mad love, so. Yeah, I saw I saw that you also, like, you did your own show and it sold out. Yeah, 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 yeah. All, all my shows, when I do them, like, they be packed. Like, around my area, Yeah. all my shows be packed. Um, I get love where I'm from, like, you know? Facts, like, facts. in the area, it's only a few guys, like, 
Shout out to my guy. Easy. That's that's how you started performing. Shout out to my nigga Easy, the Easy Life. Like his Word. shows be going crazy, my shows Word. be going crazy. A lot of like it's a few guys from my area that we do a they, show. They, they, they be having up. jumping fast. Yeah, fast. yeah. We you know we got a whole scene out there. Like I ain't gonna hold you. New Brunswick compared to like, cause I grew up in North. Yeah. So compared to New Brunswick, y'all really stick together out there. Yeah, I'm I ain't saying gonna hold it's you, like, bro. like the hood support us. Like like <laughs> our our area, they really support us. Like shout out to everybody that ever bought Fast Life, Play for Keeps, um, or, merch. That watch my videos, that share my shit on the gram. Like shout out to everybody that support me, man. I really appreciate <laughs> that shit. Like, how, how did you like come up? Like how how you got where? You, like how you found the venue and shit. Um, the venue, um, I don't even remember. I think the guys from the area, my manager, hollered at them. Oh, and we word, set word, it up. Word, word. You know, we put our own bread up and then, you know, that's how you see the back end. You put that money up, Fact. you see the back end. And it's like, I be doing a lot of shows. Like, the promoters be paying me. They be paying me. I, I make good money doing shows. But I feel like I can do my own show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can just put the money up, get the venue, and then collect the money at the door. That's how you started eat, performing? Like Nah, I started performing doing little shows. You know, they give you open f- mic five hundred. Nah, nah, they always paid me. Like, I never did a free show in my life. Word, word, word. I never did like a um, showcase or none of that. Like, I just like it, I'll just negotiate a price. But you know, when you first start rapping, they give you four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. But then it's just like the more you do, now you got better leverage. Like, all right, I you got this many. Sell out. Yeah, yeah, I got right. this many views. I got this many streams. I got this many followers. Now I need more, you know? Facts. And I brought this many people to your club last time. Now I need more. Like, this is all leverage. But, you know, that's that's all. We just trying to make it bigger. We got to stay consistent with this music. So you staying, you staying in your area? Nah, I'm, I'm you, trying nah, to... Nah, nah, I mean, like, as far as the performing, like, you trying to, like, stay... I'm, nah, I'm trying to expand. I'm trying to go everywhere and perform everywhere, you know? I'm just trying to expand. But Facts. in my area, that's where I got the most love, but... I'm trying to expand. That's what I mean. For the moment, you you're gonna like when you throw shows right now. You're just gonna stay in that area, like well, Middlesex. I'm, I'm still on papers right now, so I can't even really travel as much as I want to. Or, but I'm about to get off in a few months. So once I get off, I'm everywhere with it. Like I'm <laughs> I'm or, everywhere, overseas, everything, like everywhere. You know, because I'll be getting streams. I'll be looking at my streaming, and I'll be having people in different countries, different continents listen to my music. So I'm trying to go hit them different spots. You know. So you say your grandmother found a 40 under the couch? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Rest in peace <laughs> to my grandma. Crazy. Both of my oh, grandmas rest gone, peace. man. Rest my in peace, those. bro. But yeah, yeah, that shit was the truth. If you listen to my music, I'm tell- I am be saying some true stories and that shit. Like, running what out of time. What was reaction? Um, I think I said that on, on running out of time. That, that's like one of my main songs that people feel. Like, when I perform Gosh. that, it just like, it hit different. And, and when I recorded that... Every line I said on that song was like all oh, fact. Wasn't no like entertainment. Like nah, everything I said on there. Shit, that yeah, shit. yeah. That that was like that's real. That song from the heart right there. Like, but what was her reaction though? She ain't, like, grandma you was living there. Grandma, nah, nah, nah. Grandma ain't know it was mine, but I think one of my older cousins said it was mine. <laughs> I think they threw me under a bus. <laughs> one of my girl cousins. Shout out to her though, but. I think she told grandma it was mine, but I, you know me and my grandma. I ain't, I ain't. <laughs> so what's what's the what's some of the advantages and what's some disadvantages of being a rapper? Advantages of being a rapper: the girls, <laughs> <laughs> like the notoriety. Word. You know what I'm saying? You get love, like you might. You might pull up to the spot and it's everybody else waiting in line and you pull up and you're like, oh, the promoter know you right, and right. you done made them so much money. He's like, oh, come on. You skipped the line. You with your God. You know, like, it's, it's money. It's money. You know what I'm saying? You can make money. You you know, you got influence. That's the good thing. But the bad thing is like, like, you can't, you, you don't got no privacy. Right. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't got no privacy. Anything you do, it's like, Everybody watching. You might wear the same outfit and somebody be like, yo, this nigga broke. Like, nah, I'm normal, normal human. I can't wear the same outfit twice. So it's like, you really got to be on your P's and Q's. And then it's like, you a target. Like, a nigga might feel like, yo, I'm going to do something to this nigga. Like, everybody like him, I'm going to do something to him. Facts. Just because. So I, can, so I can get my 15 seconds of fame or whatever. Like, So it's like, you always got to be on point. And that's why we move, we move tact and we move militant. Like, we don't, we don't really do too much playing. We don't really what? play with niggas like that. Like, so uh, I also want to give uh, my condolences to you 
for the because I know I know in, like a lot of your songs you be shouting out your peoples. Yeah, yeah. So I want to shout out June King Riot. That's like who we do this shit for. Shout out K Rock. That's my bro. Rest in peace, K Rock. Um, everybody that passed my cousin's show. It's so many people, so many names. Like all my family members that's gone. Everybody from my hood, you know, in my city that we lost. Shout out to them, man. We putting on for them. You know what I'm saying? So how you how you feel like? Like you overcame their losses over the years and shit. I just keep going. I ain't, I don't feel like I I overcame it because it, that pain forever. That pain don't facts, end. Facts. But um, you just I just keep going. Like I use the money. I use making money and and, and just grinding as my healing tool. Like I'm like I, I gotta do it's this a dope music. Mechanism. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I gotta use this music and I gotta keep going. Keep going. So like that's that's how I try to heal just from keep going. You know what I'm saying? Facts. That's it, bro. So what what projects you got coming up? Oh, I'm about to drop the tape. It's about to drop. Right once this interview drop, it's probably drop right after. Um, it's called Reaping the Benefits. I probably put like 14 songs on there, all bangers. Like I'm I'm turning it up. Like it's all turn shit. Is it a like, solo project or? Yeah, it's solo project. I got a few features on there. I'll probably put Fediano on there, of course, Gaddafi. My boy All Star the Great and Shotgun Shug and I'm gonna put Don Q. I probably put the record with Don Q word, on there. So it's gonna be hard, man. Everybody tune into that, man. Reaping the benefits. So you wanna you wanna give any shout outs? Yeah, shout out to everybody supporting the bros. Shout out to everybody supporting Fast Life, Play for Keeps, FLPFK, NBN, no, no bricks, no racks, man. We putting on for the trenches, man. We putting on for the hood, man. Uptown, Brunswick, you know, King of Fast Life, Play for Keeps, man. Yeah. All right, man.